how I filled out my tax ID residency documents for Google AdSense. So you may be at this situation where you get this red bar of death every now and again. It's normally on AdSense or on Google if you're getting income from like YouTube. So in this video, I'm gonna explain what I did. So I'm not a financial advisor. I don't know what you need to do. I'm just giving you an explanation of what I did. I did something similar a few years ago when people are struggling with filling out the tax information. So I did a couple of videos explaining how to fill out the form, how I filled it out basically. And that was the English tax form done for UK YouTube earnings. So off the back of that, a few people have commented and said, it's changed. Can you explain what's going on? So I'm just going to go through and go through it logically and say, this is what I've done. So far, I'm going through these steps. I've requested the certificate. A lot of people are struggling to find the certificate itself. So in this video, you'll hopefully find a way of getting that. It's going to cover it for a few people because I did some research to understand the issue. I'm going to explain what I looked at and show you all of that. So you don't have to go through all of this headache. There's a lot of uh, Google forums, a lot of Reddit, a lot of Google searching. And the surprising thing is if you ask accountants, I have an accountant friend, uh, like a tax per expert type person, and he didn't know. So steps. So we're going to go through the research understanding. I'm going to show you what I did to understand the issue because it's good to understand this, especially if you're earning from the internet. I'm going to show you a list of options because everybody's slightly different. I noticed this on my last video, the one I did two years ago, that some people live outside the UK. Some people are not residents. Uh, you might be like studying here and earning money from YouTube. There's all sorts of different scenarios. So I can't cover all of those, but I made a blog article, which I'll be sharing the show resources. So I've I'll, I'll explain about that i'm going to go through how i filled out the form and then that's going to be broken down into sections in this video it might be a long video but hopefully by watching all of this video you'll understand what's going on why they've changed it and also what i did to fill out the new form and explain that what worked and what didn't work and what i'm still waiting for this happened over christmas today's the 31st of december new year's eve happy new year if you're watching this after the new year 2023 at the moment so yes let me go into this and explain this so hopefully we can get some we can find out what's going on so i explained already i've done a number of videos about tax and stuff over the years i just talk about stuff that relates to me and if you go to zovtalks.com go to show resources i'm gonna if you sign up here put your name and email i'm gonna send you information about this tax residency thing so i've created an article about it and that's going to help you because I think as small community professionals in the UK, we don't really have a voice. Like we're just one man bands, one woman bands, ladies, men, whatever you, um, and we can't really get together. So if we have like a way of sharing all of us struggling with this, maybe someone will pay attention and help us because tax experts don't really know. Accountants are kind of a bit lazy unless you're a really good professional tax accountant. Even them will go onto YouTube and find these videos and regurgitate what I'm telling you, which I've done like three days worth of, worth of research on this. And I've submitted it twice and it's been rejected. And I've submitted it the third time with, with the actual thing they've asked for because I've requested it from the government. So I'm going to explain that process. So yeah, basically the long-winded way of saying that is uh, it'll give you a direct link to it to your inbox. So how to get tax residency info for Google AdSense. So you'll notice uh, I'm slightly different from you. So I have a company. My company is called trustedcreators.org. So I get all my YouTube earnings into a company name and then the company, I get a salary from the company as a director. So that might be a little bit complicated. I talk all about that on my Soft Talks podcast, basically journey of like working for yourself. So there's a lot of stuff in there you'll find useful, especially if you're in the UK, because I'm sharing my journey of how I become self-employed, blah, 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 blah. But if you get these show info, you'll get a link to this article. So I break it down. So you'll see if you're an individual, you click here and it takes you to like a Gov UK page. If you're looking for a certificate of residence for a company, which is me, I clicked this link here. If you're requesting a certificate of residence from a HMC, if you're a partnership, there's a different... Like, process if you're requesting it for a trust if you have a charity and you do charity videos on youtube a lot of people do different types of things if you're registered um this yeah there's like different options there so i've broken it down in the article with the links you can simply click and it takes you to that point in the form to fill out to request a certificate i got a notification on google like christmasy time they always do this that time of year makes you worry 
and they said can you provide tax information i thought i've already done this so i looked at it and it's asking for an extra step the reason for that is i've got adsense on my website so i thought maybe something changed there so the red bar came up and asked for proof of residency so the residency proof is something you need to provide to say you're a resident of a, U a country in my case uk and we have a treaty basically if you live in another country you don't have to pay tax twice is the layman's explanation so america uk have one uh there's a number of countries that have one is a full list i explained that in my last video i linked that in the cards you can check that out so the overview of this is i googled to find out what's going on and i found a number of people asking the same question what documents suffice as proof of tax residency so i'm saying this alert attached payments info page i'm based in the uk and ask ask for a tax residency certificate so they also so i did some research online let's have a look at that research well you have certificate of uk uk fiscal residence which is what i ended up getting in the post i filled this out online about five six days later it took to come to me but this one has come to me as an individual i have also applied for one in my company's name which hasn't come yet so i've submitted this i'm likely thinking they're not going to accept it but it's got my information on there i've given them already my ids in terms of uh, in a pdf document i gave like a my uk driving license my company certificate to say i've registered company in the uk and then this fiscal registry showing i'm the main owner of the company a lot of people asking this on different forums like a month ago so i feel like something recently has changed and adsense is now asking for something different so anybody from the uk dealt with the island tax form so this appears to be like a section on their website where it's saying it's the long and short of it is google wants to save money and they don't want to pay tax so they've got an office in ireland where they pay lower taxes and that's their head office so it's as if ireland is separate everybody else gets paid from their ireland account and they're basically saving tax so we have to jump through hoops to prove that we have the relevant documents in the country we're living at that we will pay our own tax so google can save money that's the long and short of it and um, so what we need to provide them is documents to say okay i already pay tax i'm either self-employed and i do my own tax returns on the internet or i'm a company and my company pays tax for me or pays on the income i receive so you have to go to direct while well, the links i've sent you just sign up to the thing and you'll get the email or oh, i might even put in the show notes to make it super easy the reason i'm asking you to sign up is so at least all of us can be together in this and i know how many people are affected so that link will bring you to this page tax on foreign income it's called if you go down it'll say uh, get help working at your resident status so at this point you can find out, it gives you like specs how many days you spend working where you work where you registered all this stuff so further down there'll be a section about uh, income and gains let me give you well it depends if you clicked on this page here so if you come back to the article because there's so many i thought i'll make a few so you can see whichever one applies to you so you click on this link here and it will take you to the residence form which is this one here there get help working out your resident status you click start now that will let you know what you are then certificate of residence for tax purposes this is what we need to apply for how to apply for a certificate of residence to claim tax relief abroad technically we are abroad the reason we're abroad is we're not in the same country as where google says they operate from to get tax savings so they pay less tax so they're technically based in ireland everybody else is abroad because you're not in ireland does that make sense um so yeah it's like a, this is how i understood it again i'm not a tax expert so get your own advice from accountants who search youtube for answers find out how to get a certificate of residence as an individual company or organization so you do not get taxed twice on foreign income so you go down it asks you a series of questions and then you can request a form by going how to apply you can use the online service here and that will bring you to a form if you already do your self certification online you'll need to sign into your account so you can do this let me see if i can do that without sharing all my information okay this is the the form section i'm gonna hide as much information as i can because you, you'll end up seeing all my information so it asks you a question like do you complete self-assessment tax returns so me yes is your address in the uk yes you put your telephone number in there you put your nationality 
Say, really, let me go. I don't want to fill out another one, but I think I can save this and not submit it. Let me just check. So, as you click each section, it will drop down. So, you have to put your unique tax reference. If you're in the UK and you fill out a self assessment, you put your number in here, you put your postcode, your house number. This is the first page. Okay, so, I've put that information. The next one says, Is the certificate for money or income received from outside the UK? Technically, we're uh, Google operate is outside the UK because it's in Ireland. So you click yes here. I clicked yes here. You can you'll have to check if it applies to you. Time spent outside the UK. Have you spent ever left the UK to work overseas? In my case, no, I haven't. Have you ever been outside the UK for more than 108 in the last tax year? No. Are you requesting a certificate in advance? This is before you have spent 183. No. So like, are you asking for it in advance in lieu? Are you employed by a UK employer? In my case, I am because I, I work for my company. I put my company's name in there. I put my details in there. I'll do that and I'll come back. So I filled all that out. Next page, do you receive a private pension from a UK provider? No. Details of request. Why are you requesting a certificate of residence? So uh, HMRC, I'm requesting this because Google can't be asked to pay their own taxes and they want to save loads of money and they're living outside the UK and US to try and save money on tax. You can't see all of that, but that's the gist of it. Again, I've said that like a thousand times. Why are you requesting this? Okay, uh, dividends, bank interest, income from letting, royalties, fees, self-employment, capital gains, other reason. I would likely say royalties because technically it's not royalties, but we're getting income from ads being placed on Google and that might be royalties or you can do other reason. Okay, so name of other reason, I'll call it Google AdSense. Google AdSense, amount of income received now. This is where it gets a little bit interesting because if, if you've applied for the first time, you might not have money. This I used as my last payment amount. So you go and check on your Google what were you going to be paid for the last month whatever that amount is you put that amount in there details of other reason you can include 1000 characters so you can put something like uh, google has asked me to supply a tax residency info document for my income from google adsense and continue period of time you need a certificate for do you need a certificate for a specific period of time i said no because it's ongoing which country's tax office needs the certificate so here in your google adsense on the banner you have like different sections where you fill stuff out on my one is like uk uk ben form us and then ireland in mine is showing me ireland so i'm gonna say ireland here let me go ireland uh, just make sure yours is the same and again this isn't like this is what i did so it might not apply to you so don't come knocking on my door sorry if it's not right article of double taxation agreement which article of country's double taxation agreement covers the income in this uh, section oh let me check are you a beneficial owner of the foreign income received no well yes because the company gets it then that company pays me based on yes the company do the subject do the subject tax provisions apply to this foreign income i can't remember what i put here these two buttons let me check come back so again based on my research i found on direct gov uk island tax treaties and this is the treaty between the uk and ireland so if you go down you'll see documents there which are uh they originated 1976 uk double taxation convention amended by 1998 protocol in force so article 3 of this document says the term Republic of Ireland includes any area outside the territorial waters of the Republic of Ireland which is in accordance with international law has been or may hereafter be designated under the law blah, blah, blah. but B is the term United Kingdom includes any area outside the territorial sea of the United Kingdom which in accordance with the international law has been or may hereafter be designated under the laws of the United Kingdom concerning the cont continental shelf continental shelf that reminds me of a uh, Jack thingy not Jack thingy, what's his name? What's the the new movie, Keanu Reeves? As an area within which the rights of the United Kingdom with respect to the seabed and subsoil, blah, 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 blah. this is basically saying which part of the UK falls under it from my explanation. I'm no tax expert, I'm no lawyer, but I'm putting Article 3 in there. Article 3, because that tells me we are part of the taxation agreement thing. So let's go back to the form. So I'm putting it as Article 3 because that's a section of the double tax agreement of Ireland paperwork that I looked at 
based on my limited knowledge do the subject to tax provisions apply to this foreign country do the subject to tax provisions I, I would say oh wait a minute is it just a number all numbers so number three so you don't write article just write number three uh, do the subject to tax provisions apply to this foreign income some double no because we don't know I'd say I said no even continue and that I'll probably submit it again I don't want to submit it again because I've already got my my one here if that so I submitted that form seven days later I got my documents I took a photo of this and because it only said my name and my address took a photograph of this I put it in a word if you're using Libra office you can do this I put the photo in the document as page one second page I put my driving license UK driving license to prove my name and the third one I put because I have a company I put my incorporation certificate of my company so I have three pages and one thing I saved that as a PDF I submitted it to Google two days ago they take about seven or eight days to check it so I'll need to provide you with an update to say okay yes that's gone through it hasn't gone through what did they say to me before this I submitted two things first time I submitted my incorporation certificate it didn't accept it so I thought well there's no other way of proving I'm, I live in the UK so I did my passport that's the second time and they didn't approve that so this third time this is the document they asked for so this is what I'm supplying them because I didn't know how to get it first so I had to do a lot of research which I've kind of talked through today's episode explaining that it's a very probably a long video today so sorry but if you get approved let me know in the comments I'd like to know or let other people watching this know 